Welcome to a sports betting podcast from pregame.com for the week of December 31st, uh, 2009. I'm your host, RJ Bell. I'm joined by Marco D'Angelo, 30 years in the business, Vegas runner, genuine professional batter here in Vegas, TV star. <laughs> this is segment three of six, big game preview. We're in the bowls, Oklahoma State, Mississippi. As usual, let's get the line movement from Vegas. Runner. All right, this one's at Cowboy Stadium, the Cotton Bowl. This one opened Mississippi as a three and a half point favorite with a total of 50 and a half. As of today, Mississippi's minus three and the total has not moved. So a little money has come in on the dog to get it down to that key number of three. But I don't think they booked very much because uh, only Chris opened it up three and a half and everybody else went to three immediately. Okay, so Marco, we don't have an official free pig in this game. A little later, we're going to be giving a $10 coupon away um, to use at pregame.com. So, but we do give three official free picks in the six games that we preview. But otherwise, we give a lot of strong leans and, and tidbits, gambling tidbits that you can take away and, and use in your arsenal, both for that given game and theories to use in all games. So as you look at this game, what jumps out at you? Well, in this game for a New Year's Day bowl game, we've got two. All right, so we're January 2nd. Oh, I'm here. sorry. Cotton Bowl, I'm so used to it being New on Year's New Day. Year's yeah, Day. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Still, big bowl game, Cotton Bowl. Uh, now, do I'm, you remember back when, uh, I remember, you know, I'm graduated from high state, and you read all about Woody Hayes, is, you know, you used to be only one team per conference could make it to a bowl game. So there, there were years, a high state in Michigan were both undefeated coming into their final and game. Go. And the winner would go to the Rose Bowl, the loser wouldn't go to any, any bowl, bowl game. Yeah. Do, you, do you remember those days? I don't remember those days. Come on. <laughs> don't lie. You hit a parley on one of those days. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys. Uh, I'm looking at this game. For me, when I broke it down, you're looking at two different styles of... of <laughs> the hurry up offense of... <laughs> Oklahoma State against Mississippi State's you know, run deep offense. SEC power, SEC power yeah. football against, you know, Big 12. Neither team's coming into this bowl game playing well. Um, Oklahoma State got shut out in their last game and barely defeated a Colorado team um, the game before that by three points as a 17-point favorite. Mississippi lost their last game to their rival, Mississippi State. But I say you throw that game out. Yeah, they both lost to their rivals. They both lost in blowout fashion to the rival, their final game. But leading into it, they had won three straight. They did. So what, um, what's the take? What do we... You toss that away? <laughs> Let's quit clearing our throats, guys. What's the, Give me a key point in this game. The key point in this game... For me, I'm going to take the stronger, what I feel is the stronger conference, and I'm leaning to Mississippi in the game. All right, so SEC, Mississippi stronger, Big 12 down this year. Absolutely. Now, they lost to Oklahoma in that last game you were talking about? Oklahoma State lost to Oklahoma in that last game. you got to wonder, Oklahoma was, what, five losses or something coming in that game? They were already bowl eligible, though. You can't, you know, I know that's a big rivalry. They hate each other there. People really understand the Big 12, Oklahoma, Oklahoma State. But you can't think Oklahoma was really ready to play in that game after that disappointing season and all those injuries. The fact they just lambasted Oklahoma State, you got to wonder if it's just a sign of the quality of this team is is not strong. Because, as I said, both lost to their rival in their last game. Oklahoma State playing Oklahoma, that means more to Oklahoma State than Mississippi playing Mississippi State. Mississippi State. So State's are we talking bowl. about what the game shows us, or are we talking about some hangover of the game? It shows me that there is a problem with Oklahoma State, and I'm able to dismiss the bad performance from Mississippi because the game didn't mean anything to them. They already had this bowl game locked up. That was Mississippi State's bowl game against Mississippi. Well, that's I, a rivalry game, all right? It the, is a rivalry game, but the and I always tell, was a favorite. Where Oklahoma State was a dog in right. their game, they weren't. Even I always tell you in the rivalry games, it means more to the the team that's the lesser of the two because they want to get that recognition. And you know, all right. So maybe I mean, I think sometimes handicappers look at things that are pretty close and decide they're going to fall one way with them and make a big deal that they decided to go this way. But all things equal, both teams look bad at the end of the year. Slightly, maybe Oklahoma State had less of a reason. Maybe Mississippi had more. So maybe we discount this a little bit, the Mississippi bad performance against Mississippi State. But it's a small thing. So give me something big. No, no, no. Here, here's the bottom line with this game. 
is who's right, the, the public perception or, or the odds makers. Because when you look at the BCS, they have Oklahoma State 19th. You look at the USA Today, they have Oklahoma State 18th. The odds makers poll has them at 26th. Mississippi is nowhere on the BCS, nowhere on the USA Today, but they're 21st in the odds makers poll. So they're five spots above Oklahoma State. So according to, to the odds makers, Mississippi's the much stronger team, even though they're eight and four. They That's were, why they came out at a three and a half point favorite. They were a top 10 team to start the season, if you remember. Yeah, until they lost that Thursday night game to South Carolina. They were fourth at one time. All right, so you make a good point is we've got a favorite, a field goal favorite, who by, for the uh, USA, Today, USA Today type fan, seems like the lesser team. Sure, yeah, so, the BCS is going to show the ranked Oklahoma So State. it's Vegas saying, hey, we have a strong feeling Mississippi's better and we're going to back it with money, which, or excuse me, back it with the line, Number, which yeah. gonna, means you can bet against us. But then the question becomes, you would think, wow, they must not be afraid of Oklahoma State action if you would think, okay, by putting this line with seemingly the lesser team of minus three, you're going to get a bunch of Oklahoma State. But now I wonder, because Mississippi is SEC and people seem to love to bet SEC in the bowls, is it part of the reason it's three is the public perception isn't going to be towards Oklahoma State be, because though they are ranked higher, the, the hate or the, the, the dis appreciation of the Big 12 this year is making people like Mississippi. I think they're going to get split action because what you get for bowl games is a lot of recreational bettors. Guys that don't even bet all year bet New Year's Day. And what they're going to see is the 9-3 and three team. And they're going to bet Oklahoma State, the ranked BCS team. But then you're going to have the guys that bet all year and follow stuff like rankings and, and no odds maker polls and stuff like that who are going to look at it the sharp side and think Mississippi's the sharp side. And I think they're going to balance it out for now, the I do books. think the public's going to be a little affected by the uh, Mississippi being in the SEC. Exactly. Yeah. They're going to be affected Balance. by the conference, but Mississippi is not one of the household names of the SEC. So, mm -hmm. and let's not forget too that this line's even more disparity there because this is the Cotton Bowl. The Cotton Bowl definitely favors the Big 12 team. I mean, this has always yeah, been the Yeah, big, yeah, their their backyard. So, you know, so Vegas is really making a I personally when I saw the line I wouldn't have thought any different if they'd have brought this game out at Pickham. I mean, uh, would you really have thought any no, different? No, no, no. So, right, so you're saying that they're looking... So now we're going with the idea that by putting Mississippi out of three or even three and a half, what they opened at, is they do want... Um, they, they do want Oklahoma State action. They yeah, like absolutely. Mississippi here. Yeah. So you have a strong lean on Mississippi. I have a strong lean on Mississippi. Because you're saying that they could have probably get split, gotten split action at Pickham. They're putting it out at three, three and a half to get I, I totally action. agree there. My biggest, I was more surprised on why the total is only 50 when both these teams score over 30 points. So do you have a lean? That was the surprise. I, I lean Mississippi. I think at three or less, I think that's the right side. I think. And they what about the game. move, which only half a point, but it's a key move from three and a half to three with the early action? I, I think they just think they knew it wasn't going to go higher. The Mississippi line was not so going to go above three. It was one three, of those situations where you're just where getting a good number. The guys that did like the dog were going to take the three and a half. Exactly, able to which get the good number. Which is what Vegas wanted. The dog. They because remember, wise guys. And you're right. I'm sorry to interrupt. You a little tight on time. Yeah. Wise guys are not this big group all meeting in a room no, deciding no, what to do. No. There's all kind of different ones. The ones that did like Oklahoma State took the three and exactly. a half. Exactly. All right. Good, no, you know, it was an interesting theoretical conversation there, and, and I would agree with you that they do seem to want Oklahoma State action, which makes me lean towards Mississippi. All right, good stuff. Next up is going to be segment four of six. We're moving to the NFL, the Eagles and the Cowboys. And remember, you can get all of our videos at pregame.tv, or if you want to download and listen, just go to iTunes and search for pregame.com.